for training. While incarcerated, I got training through our place. I got certified with HIV and AIDS education where I can actually teach HIV and AIDS education. Um, not only did I receive service from our place, I also received services from a, from a whole lot of community organizations. I went through DOES where I got my training from. I got services from um, Suited for Change and Dressed for Success, but I wouldn't have been able to get those services had not been for the referrals from DCR Place. They actually did not judge me. I, um, like I said before, I, my crimes range from distribution of drugs to simple assault to taking property without a right. So I got a long criminal history. I just made the decision that I needed to do something about it. I take, I take full responsibility for everything that I did. Uh, and when I walked into our place doors, I didn't walk into it blindly. I walked into it uh, with an organization that said that they would help me. I applied for two scholarships and got it. I, I now I got a computer thanks to DCR Place. I was able to take my PNC class thanks to our place. Um, not only do I work for Liberty Tax, actually I'm a supervisor for Liberty Tax now. Uh, I also am an office manager for the Herberta, I'm um, sorry, the Herberta J. Jones Insurance Agency. Without uh, getting a scholarship from our place, I would not have been able to to get my position because I needed that PNC course, property and casualty insurance. So I'm also licensed to sell insurance now. Um, but I still can't be um, appointed with Nationwide or State Farm because of my criminal background. I don't have no crimes against insurance companies. I don't have any crimes against banks. But I can't be appointed because I'm a convicted felon. To sum this up real nicely, um, I've had the opportunity of working with the entire staff of DC Our Place, from the executive director to the receptionist. Everybody at Our Place knows me. Um, they provide a great service, both inside and outside. I think mainly um, because I am the kind of person that don't trust a lot, I actually always put people to the test, um, and Our Place did not fail me. They actually gave me everything I need, and they still support me to this day. Tamana, you see you had no reason to be nervous, did you? That flowed very easily. Um, the final witness is uh, Juanita Bennett, uh, who also has been incarcerated. Pleased to welcome you. Everybody here today. My name is Juanita Bennett. I was born in Washington, D.C. I have one daughter, age of 29. I was sentenced for distribution of cocaine. I served 96 months, which is eight years. I was sentenced May 2004. Okay. I served most of my time at Comb and Camp. That's where I went at. They said that when I got there that I was only housed out there to do straight fed time because I was under the D.C. Code, in which I wasn't too much familiar with the D.C. Code and that I didn't reap any benefits being out there to do the drug program and everything until I was transferred to Tallahassee because I still requested the treatment program. And when I got there, Dr. Marcellus told me that he never heard of a DC code and he would write, he wrote the uh, Justice Department and they signed it back saying that I was eligible for the time off. And this was in 2007. And after that, I was released and I went to the halfway house where I'm at now, where I mean, where I was at currently. <sighs> okay. <laughs> where they allowed me to keep structure in my life and um, had access to go different places and had the opportunity to go to our place so that I could get my credentials, police clearance, vital records and everything and by being there the ladies were very open you know very concerned all the staff is beautiful there at our place they make you feel like you're somebody you know make you feel human <laughs> you know so i enjoyed it just being there and when I had the opportunity to volunteer and come back it felt like I was just giving something back and helping the ladies by volunteering. 
And after leaving the halfway house, I went to CAG, where that is a transitional for women and treatment program slash, where I was referred by my C salsa, and that's where I'm at now. Why? Y'all gonna have to let me breathe just a little. <laughs> just a little. And I don't have a lot, but because I was just, like I said, this is my fir first fed experience. And I really made up in my mind that I had to make a better choice with my life because I'm not getting any young, I'm getting older. I have a daughter who, like I said, is in the Air Force and she's very proud of me, you know, for making this step in my life and as far as changing myself around, you know, so as far as the choices and as and far as being under the DC code, I think we should have provide more housing, this job opportunity, training, mentors, and means of transportation. That's the only thing I see as far as DC felons need for females need more.